Hey cute friends, today I'm gonna to be making the best chili out of my number one, my volume one cookbook. And I love this cookbook. It has my favorite stuff in it. But I'm super excited to make this recipe. I've done it before, but I have to tell you, this is one of the best recipes I have ever had. And I'll tell you where I got it from. I met this sweet lady named Helen Darby, and I went to her house with her sweet daughter and um, she had this chili and I was like, I need that recipe. So she graciously shared it with me. And it's just so good. It has pork and beans in it, you guys. And um, like ketchup, good stuff. So let's get started making this. Um, the very first thing that you need is you're just gonna cook your beef, your hamburger with onion. And I have already done that and so I actually cooked two pounds because I just wanted to have some on hand. The recipe calls for one pound of hamburger, so you're gonna do one pound of hamburger and you're gonna cook it with one onion. So I'm just gonna add this and I'm gonna save this for later for another recipe. Okay, and then all you do is you're just gonna start adding cans of stuff. So you're gonna need a can of chili beans and you don't drain any of this. You just add it all in. Most of the time, I always use a Walmart brand. If they're out of what I'm looking for, then I always go to another brand. But for the most part, I always use Walmart brand. And now we're gonna add light red kidney beans. And you can add like dark red if you like that. It doesn't really matter. You just want some kidney beans in there. The next thing is you're gonna need some diced roasted tomatoes. I bought the one that has a little bit of flavor in it, the fire roasted, because you guys know Daryl loves a little flavor. So I'm gonna add those. You're going to need a can of pork and beans. And look, I actually tried to find the bacon piece that was in here, I couldn't find it. So if I do find it, I'm gonna take it out. I don't think this one has it. So there you go. You add your pork and beans. The next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna add a can of sauce, and this is going to be the 15 ounce can. So you add your sauce. And next, we're gonna put in a half of a bottle of chili sauce, and this is a 12 ounce bottle, so that would be about six ounces that you're gonna put in. Let me see, yep. Got that in there. And then, you're gonna add a little bit of seasoning, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in about a tablespoon of chili powder. You're gonna put in a little bit of salt and pepper, maybe about a teaspoon of salt, and the same of pepper. And then we're gonna add, let me think, this is the garlic salt. So we're gonna add garlic salt and that is going to be I'm sorry, it's gonna be onion salt and it's about a third of a teaspoon of onion salt. And then we're going to be adding the garlic powder, which is one teaspoon. <laughs> so there we go. All right, and then we're just gonna stir this around and we are gonna add one more thing. So I'm gonna add some ketchup to this. Now I'm just gonna eyeball it I think I'm gonna add maybe about a quarter of a cup of ketchup. One good squeeze. And we're gonna mix this up. And then I'm just gonna turn this on like high, medium high, and let it come to a boil. And then I'm gonna turn it on down and I'm gonna let it simmer for 30 minutes. What I love about this is you can actually have it ready and on the table within like 30 to 40 minutes, and it's perfect. If you want to, you can add this to your crock pot and you can just kind of cook it on low for four to six hours, that works too. 
So anyway, I'll be back after this is ready. All right, cute friends, it has been 30 minutes and this has been simmering and it smells so delicious. And so I have already taken out a little bit to try, but I hope you can see it is just the nicest, yummiest, riches chili. It's delicious. So I'm gonna take a little bite of this. Woo, that's a little hot. Let me put this under here. Mm, I love this chili. Again, it's in my number one cookbook. Um, it's called the best chili, and this is perfect for Halloween and for fall. We always have chili for Halloween. Put some little scoops in there. Those Frito scoops, delicious. Um, I do want to say that, again, I got this recipe from my friend Helen Darby, and I went with her daughter, Leanne, to a conference, to a life coaching conference. You guys know I'm a life coach, though I don't actually have any clients or anything like that. I'm a certified life coach and I love it so much, but Leanne is a coach. She does some amazing coaching and you can find her on Facebook at Leanne Austin Coaching. Again, that's Leanne Austin Coaching and she is amazing. She has helped me know how to be stronger every day and do hard things. So take care everyone and I will see you next time. Bye.